Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here, and uh, I was set up at a park for the time being, weather's getting bad again, fucking weather man, it's been insane around here, I keep saying this in all my videos, but anyway, um, I keep getting some requests to, uh, you know, do some more videos of, you know, instead of me just sitting in the car talking, uh, to, you know, get my surroundings, some of the stuff that I'm doing, and uh, I kept talking about doing reviews about stuff. Well, it's about, I don't know, I think 5 o'clock-ish around here, and I'm starting to get kind of hungry, and I figured now is as good a time as any to break into that 30-day food supply that I had with me, which is one of those things that I brought just because I had it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have brought a five-gallon jug, a five-gallon container with a 30-day food supply. Just because of the room it takes up, I would have actually emptied the... Uh, container but you know it's it's easily movable for the time being and it actually stacks on top of the extra empty five gallon container which uh, doubles as my uh, emergency toilet um, but anyway so I stopped it here and I decided uh, it was a good time to break that open and eat and in order to do so I am going to attempt to use the little camping stove that my buddy Lori uh, lent me the other day, I had mentioned that you know when she came to the rescue, gave me a, gave me an opportunity to shower, and then also uh, hooked me up with some of her camping supplies that she's either not using currently or doesn't plan on using anytime in the future, uh, just so I had some extra stuff with me. And this camping stove, uh, I'll show you in a second. It's uh, one of those tiny ass little ones. Thing weighs uh, 25 grams apparently, so less than an ounce. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's B BRS is the company. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of good reviews on this thing, although I am a little nervous right now because the last review I just read when I went to go check, uh, the, check, the, check the Amazon again and, and look something up, I just happened to cruise by that page and look at the reviews. And the very top review right now, now granted it's from, it's from over a year ago, but the very top review I saw was this guy, this person who wrote in and sent pictures of the, the thing that it, it exploded on them. Now, they said, luckily, the gas canister that's attached to it did not also explode, but the uh, they, I think they put too much weight on it. I'm only going to be using uh, this little bad boy right here that Lori also hooked me up with. Little uh, titanium, I think, stainless steel, I don't know what the hell this is, um, canister. Um, holds up to, you know, well, I guess it'll hold over 20 ounces of uh, liquid, uh, but I have a couple of cups of water in there, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to boil it so I can uh, make myself some food. And, uh, yeah, so here is the, uh, here's the stove. It's attached already to the uh, Jet Boil, Jet Power isobutane propane fuel mix, which Lori also was nice enough to give me. I'm going to have to buy a couple more of these if this is successful. And, uh, yeah. If you haven't seen one of these before, this thing's pretty crazy, man. Like I said, 25 grams, light-ass little thing, folds up and fits in a tiny little drawstring bag, and uh, it's supposed to create fire. We're going to see. Let's find out. Hopefully, we don't all blow up, because that would suck. But uh, we're going to try it out. So first, we're going to uh, turn the gas on. Why it's not lighting up, I don't know. There we go. Now, we didn't blow up initially, so that's a good start. Um, I've read that the, this thing can blow, get blown out pretty easily. It is a little windy down here at the park, unfortunately. Um, and uh, this is actually a park we haven't been at before. It's another park in uh, one of the one of the nearby towns. Um, doesn't offer as many things, but uh, I was just in the neighborhood and I figured we'd swing down and stop and see if we test this out. But uh, even with the wind, it appears to still be cooking, uh, kicking. Now, uh, a couple of the other reviews I read said uh, took about three minutes, I think, to boil a couple of cups of water. Maybe it was a little more. I have about I have two cups of water in there. I'm gonna make some uh, chicken vegetable stew. I think it is. I found. Let's actually take a look at that right now. We'll I'll let that we'll let that do its thing for a little while. Um, yeah, chicken vegetable stew. We're gonna find out how it is. Chef's banquet. It's uh, like I said. My dad. Uh, my dad's a prepper from way back, and uh, 
years ago, he decided to start sending stuff my way, and my garage ended up, one, one corner of my garage ended up filled with uh, different, you know, food storage stuff, uh, you know, long, long-term storage, the 25-year shelf life crap, and, uh, you know, most of them were giant buckets of specific things, like, you know, pasta and uh, one giant, a couple giant things of mixed vegetables, uh, even sent me some, uh, a couple of big things of powdered milk, which I actually had a... Uh, discussion back and well, I'm in the middle of a discussion back and forth on steam it with a another individual who has uh, found my stuff uh, I think it's Jason Henza on there if, if I'm if I'm if I'm getting that wrong at the moment I do apologize I, I'm not looking at my computer um, but I think that's who it was but uh, he said I think he said he's been doing this type of thing for about a month now and uh, he was he gave me a bunch of suggestions um, and now I forgot why I mentioned that in the first place probably not good um, all right in all honesty I'm a little high right now uh, I've been hanging out with Murder Dog by, by ourselves all day, and after we got all this stuff we had to get done earlier, I, I took a break and uh, smoked a little bowl, and feeling good. But anyway, uh, yeah, he, he, he well, anyway, he, he, he's a he, great guy. Uh, he's been giving me a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of info, and uh, yeah, so either way, I'm gonna, uh, oh, the food, oh, that's what it was, the food storage and then and the powdered milk. He mentioned powdered milk, and you know, you shouldn't forget that because that's actually a great thing. Um, especially if you want to make anything like, you know, that, that requires like cheesy stuff, you know, anything that would require dairy, uh, instead of trying to keep milk with you and keep it cold, powdered milk. And, uh, I really wish I had had that conversation with him before I packed up my house because I had two giant, uh, two giant canisters, I think two five gallon jugs, uh, five, five, yeah, five gallon uh, canisters of powdered milk that also my dad sent me, um, when we were doing the, when he was big on the prepping thing a couple of years ago and he was worried about, so I think it was after, after Hurricane Sandy came through actually, uh, which, uh, I'm sure most people have heard about, uh, you know, the big storm that came through here was it almost six years ago, I guess now. And, uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, it ripped up the East coast and, uh, knocked power out in my neighborhood for over two weeks. And my dad was, you know, my kids were really young at that point. They were only a year old when Sandy came through. And, uh, you know, he was worried about us being without power, not being able to have, like, formula or milk for the girls. So he sent us two canisters, and we just never used them because, you know, power came back, and we never had a problem since. And I didn't even think, you know, I took the, uh, I left all the other canisters in the storage unit, like the, you know, the single item canisters. But I had this one that was a 30 day, uh, specifically a 30 day supply. So it's a mix of food. There's some, you know, breakfast oats, um, a bunch of different stews and soups, um, some instant potatoes and some other foods in there too. Some, you know, pastas and stuff. So you had a big mixture. So I took that one with me. Didn't even think to take the milk. Would have been a really good idea. Live and learn. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go back to, the, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the storage unit at some point uh, because I'm gonna have to load up before we head out to Michigan at the end of the month. And I only brought my camping supplies with me. I didn't bring the kids' stuff with me, and uh, like the other games and whatever else we have for camping. That's all still in the camper, up, uh, in the storage unit, up near up near the front. So we can go out there a day or two before we head out and actually uh, load up and pick up everything. So while I'm there, I am most likely going to dig a little deeper and try to grab that can- one of those canisters of milk, so that I have that supply with me as well. Um, now that I've been rambling, I, I was actually going to pause the video because I started to say before the reviews I read said somewhere around three minutes to boil this, um, but now I've been talking for a few minutes, so let's go check on it and see how it's going. Well, despite the little bit of wind down here, the flame still appears to be on, and uh, we'll check the water, and uh, wow, it's starting to boil already. This is good stuff. Um, Lori, you rock. <laughs> Uh, I am definitely going to be purchasing another one for you because I'm probably going to beat the hell out of this one. So I'll replace this one for you. But uh, yeah, I'm keeping this. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, I'm liking this. I, I think it's only been a couple of minutes and uh, we're already almost at boil. So it's going to be time to eat for me soon. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, I think I'll, uh, I'll finish this off because it's going to be, be a little cumbersome trying to hold the phone or position it and uh, continue to... Uh, record as I actually make the food, but I just wanted to get a, a video in here because, like I said, I've got a bunch of requests for these, and uh, yeah, I, I know, it kind of gets boring just watching me sit there talking my car, <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll upload this to my laptop later, and then uh, I'm going to have to edit it down, because unfortunately, no matter what I do with this phone, I can't, I've, I've changed the setting so many times, and the files still end up coming out huge when I record videos on this thing. So even like a couple minute video is like ridiculous amount of megabytes and uh, I end up having to uh, cut it down in my video editing software. 
So later on when I have the car running already anyway, uh, cause you know, I've talked about before, I usually, even if I'm not driving around, I try to run the car at least twice a day for a little while, just, you know, which does burn gas, but just to get the cooler up to temp, you know, down, well, down to temperature, down to 40 degrees. And then it'll hold for about, seems to be about four to five hours. It holds pretty decently at once I do that. So as long as I do that twice a day, I end up with, uh, you know, a relatively cool cooler back there. Um, so when I do that later, I will uh, hook my laptop back up and I'll run the video editing software and cut this down and post it up. And uh, now I see steam coming out. So we are definitely at boiling and uh, I'm about to eat some food. And uh, we'll see how it tastes. I have no idea. But I'll let you guys know about that later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Abolitionist J, out. Peace.